have that one girl whose silence is treasured. I sit in the silence of my room trying to forget what I've done. And I don't know about you, but I still remember every part of how we began. We started as soon as we locked eyes from across that room, as soon as that rush went through my body just drawing me to you, as soon as you started calling me yours. I sit here thinking of you, and no matter how hard I try to forget, a small part of me will always love you. And I hate it. I hate how you can beat me and bruise me and break me down, then run back to me and rip open my legs that you just broke. Only for the sake of our bodies intertwining and creating one. But that didn't mean anything to you as long as your release of pleasure poured into me. I hate how you can hide me behind closed doors and I'm inside screaming, let me out! Do you remember my face when I found out about her and her blue eyes that remind me of the tears on my face? My face as my world of unconditional love rained down upon me like rainwater booming on my rooftop during a storm. My face after I gave every part of my body to you only to find that it wasn't good enough. I'm here questioning every part of my worth and I ask myself why you always try to hide me. And I only found the shattered fragments of my heart, soul, and body that you broke. The more I speak about you, the more I realize that I was just a pawn that you toyed with every time you got bored with the person you came home to every night. Even when there was a part of me and you inside a tiny shell, you left until I did the very thing you asked me to do, get rid of it. The chemical concoction that told that I was told to take and cast out our, out our tiny shell into a world of eternal darkness. And I still let you use me over and over like a drum that keeps beating and beating, getting heavier and heavier, bruising me every time. Each body, yeah, each beat in my body bending, twisting, and snapping to the beat of your drum, and each boom shows another discolored green and yellow contusion left on my body. I let you use me and beat the drum of my heart despite wanting to run away to safe haven, but I couldn't because I love you. I can't run because you were my safe haven when I had nothing. You are my lockbox of secrets, my pair of warm arms that held me as I fell apart. And this is why my silence is treasured, not only to me, but you. Treasured to me because in the silence of each bruise and each word left unsaid, I get to keep my love for you. And it's treasured to you so you can have business on one side and a bruised, used being on the other. I can't run because your name is forever echoing inside my head like the wind in the trees, and I can't find any fucking silence in my mind. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't think about how much I want and need you. But I know you'll come back when you're filled with lust and need a replacement for her. Because I'm your toy to play with whenever need be. I forgive and forget every time, just like I forgot the night you were oh so cautious as you drove me home. You wouldn't let me see your phone. As I said the words goodbye, the words I love you spewed out and you said shh, love is a bad word. Wait, do you want me to stop? <laughs> And forgetting doesn't change the cheating, lying, and manipulating done by you or the silent cries as my heart was cutting open my body with its broken shards because you were a vulture preying on an injured rodent. You lured me in and made me question every part of my sanity or if you ever felt anything real. You had me pacing the confinement of my room walls contemplating if I ever meant anything to you. You swore we'd be together, but it's been a year and all you've given me are lies that you've shoved down my throat like acid. Every Every time I try to speak, the acid spills out and eats away at my burning flesh. My rotting carcass of a body couldn't speak up for myself. I was love struck and couldn't see the monster behind the face of the beautiful man with blue eyes like the sea that's drowning me. I didn't see the beast with snarling teeth and glowing yellow eyes of deceptive nature and lust. My eyes that s the eyes that saw me and told you to refer to me as the accident, like the bastard child that daddy never stuck around for in the first place. I let you have my innocent body and was left with a year of you lying and using me. My body went from a white canvas to one being covered in black and blue, breaking from being used far too many times. And the saddest part of all is that I know it will continue until I can take back my dignity, and I will never be that strong.